This video is going to be the ultimate guide to make viral videos. And by implementing these tactics in your videos, you could get millions of views. And if it didn't get millions of views, then tell the creator to improve the script from the next time. Because you can't edit an endgame level movie if your script is like Eternals. So without pirating Stop the it. software, let's get, get started. So first of all, we will open Premiere Pro and start trimming the best takes from the video using I and O buttons. And usually what we do is listen through all of the nonsense over and over again to figure out which is the best shot. Guess what? You have to stop doing this. What you have to do is switch to the waveform, and here you can see that this waveform and this one are almost identical to each other. You can confirm this by listening to both of them, but you don't have OCD, so stop doing it every time. Just select the last one you see, and this is how you will trim your clips efficiently. This was the traditional method to arrange clips, but now let's see how we can use AI to speed up this process. If you have the latest version of After Effects and have your language pack installed, then what you can do is open the text window and go to Transcript. Now click on this funnel icon to filter out the pauses. Now we will select the pauses and click delete and then delete all to remove every pause within your sequence. Now go inside your sequence and start taking the best takes from the end of the video. There might be some people waiting till their transcription is done, but it's not showing any sign of progress. What you have to do is make sure you have the proper language pack installed on your system. Bro, what are you talking about, man? For example, this video is in English and I have the English language pack installed, which is around 7 794 megabytes alone only for English. So if you aren't able to transcribe your clips, check the language pack from Creative Cloud. Next up, what we have to do is use J-Cuts so that the person who is watching this video doesn't get a chance to skip, especially in the first 10 seconds. So I will drag this clip here, and just as the audio fades out from this clip, another starts. This reduces pauses and makes the video more engaging. But remember, even Avengers Endgame would become boring if Thanos starts hitting everyone from the start to the ends. So what I want to say is, don't use J-cuts all the time. Emphasize what the video is talking about. Maybe there's a deep meaning hidden behind the words which needs some time for the audience to process. He died like a dog, he died like a coward. If you start throwing too much info at once, it will explode, causing the viewers to swipe away the video and making you a bad video editor, which you must avoid at all costs. Video editing is not just about creating stunning animation. The pacing of the video determines how long someone watches it. So now when your A-rolls are trimmed out, it's time to enhance the voice. So I will apply denoise on the audio layer. Now open effects control and search for denoise effect and click on edit and change this to 10%. Now apply parametric equalizer and again, come back to effects and control and click edit and change this to loudness maximizer. Now hit the space bar to plan the video in the background and you will see two buttons. The first one controls the bass in the voice and the second one controls the pitch of the audio. So play with these two buttons like a child until you get a sexy voice. If the video has too much noise or wind, then use Adobe Speech Enhancer to clean it up. Just type Adobe Podcasts in your browser and click on this Adobe Enhanced Speech and it will take you to the main page. Now choose your files which you want to enhance and download the audio. Usually this should do this step before trimming your clips, but it's never too late to fix your mistakes. Clients really don't notice these small details, but internally they know something is good in this video which they can't figure out. Now, I will transcribe the audio and generate subtitles in Premiere Pro. Don't worry, we will not leave it like that. Now it's the time you've been waiting for. I will select all the items and use Dynamic Link to take them into After Effects. There will be two ways we'll discuss to animate the texts. The first one in Houston cold style, and in the next, we will create a highlighting metallic text effect, which is taking over the internet. So first, we will extract the texts from the pre-comps. Now I will align the text around the neck area. Next, I will select all the texts and change its font to Europa Grotesque Medium. Now I will select the texts which should came together and press Alt and right bracket so that we can animate it like this later. While choosing the colors, always make sure to use colors that are clearly visible and non-distracting. This is the reason why Houston Cole doesn't wear anything other than black around his text areas. Keep that in mind. Now you need some presets to make subtitles like this. So I will select this text and apply Fade Up by Words. But there's a problem that we have to drag these keyframes closer every single time, which is frustrating. So to deal with this situation, we will create a fast Fade Up by Word preset so that we don't have to do this repetitive task. So we will select our animation and click on Animation and click Save Animation Preset. Now all you have to do is give it a good name so you can find it easily. Now come back in After Effects and refresh the list and you will find your presets ready to go. So I will paste it to one by one of most of my texts. 
to different highlighted words change their color to red, or ask the client what is their brand color and select that one here. And yeah, now it's the one thing which After Effects users loves the most, the deep glow. Yeah, we will apply deep glow and change its intensity to 20. Oh, I'm really sorry for blinding you, I guess. I forget decimal, please forgive me. Now we will copy this deep glow and apply it on every single text layer. Now we will try to position the text like these shorts, which actually doesn't make any sense, but still looks amazing even if you don't use any preset. By following this steps, you can create these subtitles in 10 to 20 minutes, considering the fact you're not going on to scroll some reels. Next is random flicker and you'll use it only on highlighted words to differentiate them from the rest. By following this method, you can create trending subtitles in no time. But now let's see how you can create this metallic text effect. First of all, download some luxury fonts. I've created a zip file, so you don't have to search the internet. Download it from the description box. Now we will change the basic font to a luxury font. Next, we will add the CC light sweep effect and try to create a shadow like this. I've given some light sweep presets, so you can just drag and drop to get this cool text animation. Check the description box at the end. Now we will duplicate the effect and reset it. Then animate its center from left to right and easy ease the keyframes. Now it's looking like this. Next, change the other text to luxury fonts wherever needed and copy paste the effects one by one. Just make sure you're at the first frame of the text layer for perfect animation while pasting. Apply a gradient ramp and adjust its colors and position. Now you have to add animations or B-rolls to make the video engaging. The main objective of animation is to simplify the video for the basic audience, so it becomes relevant to a wider audience. Keep that in mind. Don't fit animation into every part. Use B-rolls or images to explain terms quickly. When using B-rolls, add rounded corners overlays to give an aesthetic look to your videos. Again, the link is in the description, so download the assets at the end. If you want your B-rolls to stand out, Check out this video. Now we are going to make a good hook in the video because you know how bad audience retention is on social media. When someone scrolls on shorts, they decide in the first three seconds whether to watch or not. So the intro is crucial to viral a video. So put most of your efforts in the first 10 seconds. Whether it's animation, transitions, or sound effects, don't skip anything at the start and slowly reduce efforts as the video progresses. To grab attention, we'll add a camera flash sound effect. Press L twice to reveal audio waveforms and adjust the sound effect to start right at the beginning. Next, we'll add a fast zoom in. Press S and Shift plus P to bring up scale and position together. Add keyframes. Move 20 frames ahead in timeline and increase the scale and position. Now select all the keyframes and apply easing. Now the intro should look like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nexus. Nexus is the link between online business and the creator economy, which is way better. Now start adding zoom in and zoom out wherever something special or interesting is said. Start copying and pasting keyframes to add the zooms. Now let's add some transitions. There are many trending ones, like film burns, camera transitions, hit transitions, and many useless ones you should avoid in talking head shorts. When transitioning between talking head scenes, avoid funky ones. Use minimal transitions. They're less distracting. Give professional vibes and hook the audience. If you use funky ones, people will go, what the hell was that? To bring life to your shorts, add sound effects. When a transition is about to happen, add a riser and align it with the middle of the transition. You can also use whoosh or swoosh effects. You don't need them everywhere, just where it builds tension in the shorts depending on the content. Also add click sound effects when something pops on screen. Just feel the video and you'll do it better than 90% of video editors. If you want a dedicated video on sound design, let me know in the comments. To get you started, I've included some premium sound effects in the description box. Make sure to check them out. And if you want to make your boring stock videos interesting, check out this video.